Hi guys, Evie here. In the first episode, I will introduce you to a method that will simplify comparing and contrasting reflections and concepts. This is called the styling multiplier, which will be the metric used in all my guides. So basically, styling multiplier is designed in a way such that the styling power times styling multiplier equals to your statistic expectation of battle rating. Battle rating is the final score you get after a battle. In simple terms, some randomness is involved in the battle rating calculation because of glamour surge. So this formula, styling power times styling multiplier, gives you the average of your battle rating if you enter the battle millions of times. But it varies a little bit from individual attempts. A quick note here, since concept skill 1 adds chances to glamour surge, which is zero by default, when you don't have a concept on, you won't be able to trigger glamour surge, and there won't be any randomness. Our styling multiplier is determined by the combination of call of reflection skills, reflection passive effects, concept skill 1, and concept skill 2. I know it sounds simple enough just to read the skills, still, it's way more complicated than just reading because there are many different combinations and scaling constants involved in the actual formulation. So just by reading the skills isn't enough in determining which reflection and concepts combo works best for you. All the percentages and skills are intertwined. They have to work together to give the expected results. For example, in almost every guide, you've probably seen that Loen glittering date is better than Qin Yi out of the Phoenix Palace, but it's more complicated than that, since sometimes 10 seconds reflections can be better than our go-to arena reflections, like Loen glittering date. This is just to tell you an example. But I will break this down later, so don't start leveling up your Qin Yi just yet. Why do we need the multiplier? So it's easier for you to compare and contrast different reflections because the skill descriptions are confusing to grasp. But the styling multiplier number can show you directly which reflection is better given the situation. Usually, the higher the multiplier, the better. The multiplier is usually only used to determine the strength of reflections or concepts when the styling power is held constant. Your battle rating won't be too strong if your styling power is low because the styling multiplier works alongside your styling power. You would still need to improve your styling power and multiplier to rank higher. But since styling power is pretty transparent, that paper directly shows you in the fitting room, I will be mostly talking about the multiplier instead. In all of my videos, when I give you suggestions on reflections or concepts, I will tell you the multiplier for that specific level of passive and color reflection you will be aiming for, so that you know exactly how much battle rating you will get the day you finish farming your reflections, or even before seeing them. So for example, we have a new green event you are coming out right now, but you're still using Mercury Elf's Elegy. You're wondering if it's worth it to pull in this event? I will check out our heat map, which I will post before every event, and you can find the level combo that you're looking for. Okay, let's assume. I think I'll be able to pull about 500 times in the event, so around 3 or 4 extra echoes to level the Call of Reflection to 3 and awaken the reflection. I also have some UR crystals, and I can level up my new reflection to level 4 in each passive effect. The multiplier for this new reflection is 8.636. And if I spend all my UR crystals into Mercury, Elf's Elegy, which I'm using right now, the multiplier would be 8.627. Assuming I've been buying extra arena attempts daily to level Mercury's Call of Reflection to 5. Now, I know which reflection is better when only comparing the scores. But I want to find out if I can use this specific reflection to clear a stage that I'm currently stuck on. I'll be using my Loan Flying Free as an example as I have too many buffs on my CN server. So go to any normal stage or the arena, take your styling power minus the stat for your designer's reflection. Take the fully leveled new reflection stat I show you before every event times the archiving and awakening bonus and add this number into the rest of your styling power. Then multiply this number by your new reflections multiplier. 
and this will be the lower bound of your new battle rating exactly. This means that you're guaranteed to get this rating or above because new UR reflections come with new items. With these new and improved items, your styling power will be higher than your lower bound. One thing to note about adding designer's reflection stats though is do not take other people's stats directly, especially if they're a whale and have a different playstyle than you and they've completed every single event because the index score already has archiving and awakening bonuses added on top of the base stat. All my videos from August 28th onward will give you the raw stat without any archiving and awakening bonuses, so you could add the value you currently have to get a more accurate result. If you want to be extra accurate, you could also find the base score of each item in the event pavilion pool and add those up to see what your actual final score would be. But we won't be doing that in this video because it's too time consuming, but you get the idea. Or another way to use your styling multiplier. When comparing several different reflections, you can directly know which reflection is stronger and more importantly, by how much, down to the accuracy of the single digit of your battle rating so that you can decide which reflection you should prepare for. Normally, it is not hard to determine the best combo when you have an unlimited budget. Usually, the more money you put into the game, the stronger you are. But the actual question for most of us is to get the most out of our limited budget. As the best reflections or the most expensive setup isn't usually the best for us because we can't really max it out and it won't be as good. Knowing how much battle rating you can get before investing in a set of reflections will help us get a better rating without breaking the bank. Here is an example of how we will be comparing and contrasting reflections with the styling multiplier. As you can see here, contrary to popular belief, where Loen is always stronger than Qin Yi, suppose you think you want to level up the passive effect and call of reflection skill fully for at least one attribute. In that case, you should consider using Qin Yi instead of Loen, since Qin Yi is slightly stronger than Loen when it is maxed out. Let's go over the graph together. We have the level of call of reflection down at the bottom and the passive effect level at the left side of the heat map. The darker the color, the higher the multiplier. And the higher the multiplier, the stronger your reflection is. So it is technically not wrong when people say Loen is better than Qin Yi because it is better in most passive effect and call of reflection level combinations. For example, if you just got both reflections, they're both at level 1 in everything. Loen's multiplier is 7.063 and Qin Yi is at 6.897. In this case, Loen is stronger. However, when Qin Yi is at level 5 in every passive effect skill, he is stronger than Loen by a little bit. Therefore, reflection rankings can be helpful, but those are too general. You need to level up the best specific reflection setup that is suitable for you. But this is just one of the few examples of the reflections that we currently have. Deciding what to level up is still more than just looking at these. I'm going to show you how I plan to level up my reflections in another episode because we need to consider future events and mechanics. The graphs here are just to tell you don't level up any passive effects yet before knowing exactly what you're doing because the crystals are way too hard to get. I've made mistakes on the CN servers, so I don't want you to waste any crystals here. Alright, that is it for this episode. I hope I explained the method fully. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode, where we will go over every aspect of your styling power and how the game calculates battle rating during Silas battles. Bye!